During the inquiry, the burning issues from the Namibian state witnesses included the limited powers by the Namibian Joint Investigation Team that they were not allowed to take photographs and contradicting statements from Botswana state witnesses. The Namibian team of witnesses felt the Botswana police services investigations were biased, showing that they were protecting and condoning the actions of the BDF. Another concern by the Namibian team was that firearms used by the BDF to kill the Nchindo brothers were not taken for ballistic testing to make a comparison with the metal projectiles found in the bodies of the deceased and the canoes they were in. Namibian witnesses claimed that the state prosecution team had treated them as suspects rather than witnesses as compared to the witnesses from Botswana. Botswana Police Service witnesses in the inquiry argued that there was nothing wrong in the killing of the Nchindo brothers by the BDF because they were on duty and could not be arrested. Though no firearms were found during the investigations, Botswana Police and Defense Force witnesses were adamant that the brothers were poachers. This is despite the Namibian investigation team producing evidence that the Nchindo brothers derived their livelihood from fishing by producing their fishing certificates and the proof that none of the deceased possessed a firearm. The inquiry was conducted from the 15th to the 26th of November 2021 at the Chobe District Council Chambers. More than 25 witnesses from both countries testified in the inquiry. Sililombiana, NBC News, Katimamlilo.